everyone, this is Lynx from New Dagger, and today I'm running a dungeon for Ifrit. This is my first time fighting Ifrit. And as you can see, the battle just started. Uh, the main thing about Ifrit is that he... The point at where he starts shooting lightning on the ground, you see these ripples in the ground, that's when you have to stop casting whatever you're doing. And being a uh, arcanist, that's a little annoying because my spells take about a minute to cast. So sometimes I would wonder, do I just finish the spell and take the hit? And it's actually better to run away because he does about half-life damage there. If you don't get away in time. Um, it's a little easier for an arcanist to heal and uh, have the white mage not uh, focus so much on you because you can self-heal. And as you can see, I, I'm debuffing him a bunch, and my carbuncle is actually tanking him at this point. Now you just saw that blast, that was ripples in the ground. He usually targets a few members, I'm not sure if he targets all the members around, but you definitely have to watch out for that when you're attacking him. And now Ifrid is about 3 fourths done. There's the ripples to my right, as you can see, and it does a big blast. And there's a key point here where there is another monster that appears beside Ifrit. And if you miss him, you actually miss your opportunity to completely kill him. What he does is then explodes. He basically does a kill move that kills everyone. You have to redo the whole dungeon again. And you don't want to go through that. That's a little annoying. Now he's half-life. Okay, there it is. It's the Infernal Nail. And what you have to do is kill it as fast as you can. Just ignore whatever Ifrit is doing. Try to avoid any of his attacks, such as the Ground Ripple. And kill this thing as fast as you can. I have to heal my Carbuncle. He's the only one tanking this thing right now. And there it is. The Nail is dead. So that is a key point, you have to make sure you do that, or you'll keep wondering why is the dungeon restarting. Now he does a big blast and it hurts everyone, but there's absolutely no way to avoid one of those moves, so you have to make sure that everyone is about 80% health or higher. There are the ripples again. See I move around a lot so you don't see the ripples too often underneath me. There's also this move that's around him, and you just have to step a little outside it. You don't have to step far, you just have to step outside the rim. And the other move is where it is on the outer edges, so he forces you to move towards him. Now if there's about 20 life, I avoided a attack ripple. He's pretty much almost dead at this point, you just have to finish him off and avoid any ripples, and it's a pretty easy dungeon. Well, it's not even a dungeon, it's just killing a boss. Avoid the fire if you can, but it doesn't do too much damage that you can't get a heal from that. The worst part is being in the middle of a ripple. Sometimes, like there, I couldn't really avoid it. I was right in the middle, and even if I ran, there wasn't enough time. And there he is. He's dead. I would say that was pretty easy. And the final cutscene, which I won't uh, play too much because I don't want to ruin it for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this Final Fantasy Ifrit run, and uh, I'd like to see you guys, um, you know, try Ifrit, tell me what you think of him, tell me uh, if you think hard mode is going to be much crazier, or just a buffed version of Ifrit, and um, yeah, so enjoy the little preview of the cutscene, which I will clip so I don't show you guys too much, and yeah. Thanks for watching Noob Dagger, subscribe or like us!